Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing in the Harry Potter themed House Cup. Today we've got groups 9 and 10 of round 3. Starting off for group 9, Severus Snape is driving a Jaguar F type called Expelliarmus for Monster Motorsports. Professor Snape took second behind now eliminated Topher Bax in round 1, then edged out Jack for the win in round 2. In the last remaining entry for Gen X Vintage Racing, Kit KM is driving a tournament unique Morgan Plus 8 called Plus 8 for Gryffindor. Kit won his group in round 1, never finishing worse than second, then edged out now eliminated Remy 12 gauge for the win in round 2. Also representing Monster Motorsports but driving for Gryffindor, Fleur Delacour is in a similar Jaguar F type called Expecto Patronum. Fleur took second behind Drilled Finger in round 1, then won her group in round 2 over Amber Beach as the only driver to not DNF. In a rematch against Fleur, Drilled Finger is back in his Jaguar XJ220 for G4 Diecast Racing and House Slytherin. Finger put up 15 points in round 1 when he beat out Fleur, then edged out now eliminated Chloe for the win in round 2. Snape and Kit start us off up front, Fleur and Drilled Finger in the back. Kit gets help from Drilled Finger and takes the lead. The Monster Motorsports drivers link up in the back. Drilled Finger makes a go of it, but Kit Cam wins. Whoa! Severus and Fleur slide through the funnel. The only minor drama this lap is at the end when the G4 drivers jockey for third. Kit and his Morgan Plus 8 on top early. It's an all G4 front row for lap two. Fleur takes the lead from the inside lane while everyone spins behind her. G4 in front this time, and Drilled Finger tries to drill past Severus. Fleur takes lap two. Ooh! Severus and Drilled Finger smash in the funnel, and whoa! Kit flies in backwards to push Drilled Finger across the line. Drilled Finger certainly had the speed and position to make the pass, but Severus able to shut the door. Finger makes another attempt on the final straight, clips the rear quarter panel of Severus's car in the funnel, and wrecks himself. Lucky for him, Kit comes through to save the day, and two points for Finger. Quad fives after two in what appears to be a super competitive group. That'll put Severus at a disadvantage as he'll start the final two laps from the back. Finger and Fleur are up front for lap three. Finger gets the edge and spins out front, but recovers and maintains the lead. They nearly go three wide as Severus passes Kit. Severus can't get around Fleur, and lap three goes to Drilled Finger. Finger gets wild early, setting up some chaos in turn two that allows Severus to thread the needle and pass Kit while pulling alongside his G4 teammate. Drilled Finger moves out front, but this is still very much anyone's race. Low Man Kid and High Man Drilled Finger share the final front row. Finger muscles his way out front, and Kit briefly rides the rail. Fleur right behind Kit. Fleur takes a look inside and makes the pass. She blocks, heading to the finish. Ooh! They smash into the funnel, and I'm pretty sure Fleur came away with second. Fleur catches Kit in the triangle and somehow pulls off a rare drifting pass in the final turn. She can't get clear and decides to block, allowing Severus to catch them both. They smash in the funnel, and the judges are telling us not only does Fleur take second, but Severus squeezes past to claim third. Sadly, Kit's Morgan Plus 8 just fails to cross the line, and he'll take a last lap DNF. Drilled Finger takes the group win. Fleur Delacour is second. For group 10, representing Slytherin and Hole in One Motorsports, Don D is driving the only McLaren Senna in the tournament. Don won his group in round one, never finishing worse than second, then barely made it past round two behind Cross after taking a lap one DNF. From secondhand speed, Hermione is driving a Jaguar F-Type Project 7 for Gryffindor. She's only managed a pair of second place finishes so far. The other half of the Tex-10 racing team to the fuzz, Old Sarge is in an Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Sarge put up 15 in round one, then bested Katie for the win in round two. Finally, Dangerous Dawn is driving for Vapor Racing. Dawn also put up 15 in round one, beating out Mr. Dark, then placed second behind now eliminated Frosty in round two, despite never finishing worse than second. 
John D and Hermione start up front, Old Sarge and Dangerous Dawn in the back. The outside lane is faster and Hermione spins her way out front. Sarge slides and falls way behind. Hermione spins. Don D is up on the wall. Ooh! Dangerous Don smashes headlong into Hermione. And lap one is Hermione, Dangerous Don, Don D, and Old Sarge. Hermione and Don D have good runs until they hit the final straight. Dangerous Don able to maintain control and nearly pulls off a double pass to steal the win. Hermione manages a fortunate win despite some late drama. Sarge moves up front alongside Don D. It's a little more even this time and Sarge is able to squeeze out front. Don D is on his roof and that'll allow Hermione to make the pass for second. Gryffindor finish one and two. Not quite sure what happened to Don D and his Slytherin teammate Dangerous Don is stuck on the wall up by Selena Redsparks. Don D seems able to clear the overpass just fine, but the next time we see him, he's inverted, making me think he rolled in turn four. Gryffindor takes control of lap 10, Hermione still number one. Dangerous Dawn takes the pole for lap three, and she'll need to make a statement after a poor first half. Another close start, and Dangerous Dawn takes the lead. Don D passes inside turn three. Slytherin in control of this lap. Sarge is on the wall. Ooh! He gets launched, but manages to slide across the line for fourth. Don D starts P4, but drives to the front in the first three turns. Old Sarge is lucky he finished the lap after hooking the wall and getting popped by a seam. The Dons of Slytherin are right back in this, though Hermione now holds a three-point lead. Hermione and Dangerous Don get the front row advantage, Don D and Old Sarge in the back. Dangerous Don flies out of the gate and she'll get in front on this final important lap. They spread out and Hermione drives off the overpass. Dangerous Don slides a bit, but still wins lap four. Dangerous Don has arguably the best start of the race and puts it to good use. Hermione inexplicably launches herself off the overpass Good thing for that subtract safety surface. Dangerous Dawn somehow comes back to win Group 10, and despite her massive lead, Hermione and Old Sarge tie for second, sending us to another runoff. Hermione gets the inside lane first, this will be best of three. Hermione a tad faster, gets in front and quickly pulls away. Sarge drives off the final straight, and Hermione collides with Dangerous Dawn, who's still on the track. Hermione takes the first win. Sarge loses control, redlining it, and some poor track official's gonna lose his job after allowing the race to start with Dangerous Dawn's MGB still sitting in the finish funnel. In any case, no harm done, and they swap lanes to go again. Old Sarge has gotta win this one, or his tournament is done. Hermione wins the lead again, but Sarge is staying with her. Sarge slides and Hermione pulls away. She will take the shutout. The ladies split the spoils for Gryffindor and Slytherin. Slytherin and Gryffindor with a bunch of points today. Ravenclaw still holding on to second. Congratulations to Drilled Finger, Fleur Delacour, Dangerous Dawn, and Hermione. This has been Jim D. for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre Diecast Racing and the culminating third round action of the House Cup.